In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to cut out or engrave a text into a cylinder. In this tutorial, we will learn how to emboss a text on a round surface like this. The first few steps will be similar. Let us start with a new file. Then delete this default cube and instead, add a cylinder from the Add menu. In order to have a smooth surface for this cylinder, go to the Modifiers tab, and first add an Edge Split modifier. Then apply it. Next, add a Subdivision Surface modifier. Change the levels to 2, and also apply this modifier. Then go to the Add menu, and add a text field. In order to rotate it towards us, go to the Properties tab. Then change the X rotation value to 90 degrees, and Z rotation value to also 90 degrees. Let us use the Move tool to move it out a little bit, so that we can see it properly. Next, we need to make it center aligned. So go to this text tab, and under the alignment section here, change the horizontal alignment to center, and then vertical alignment to also center. Now, in order to add our own text in place of this default text, go to the edit mode. Press backspace to delete everything, and add a suitable text of your choice, maybe thank you. The font size is too big for this text. So expand this font section and lower the font size here, to maybe 0.5. Let us now go back to the object mode. We would like to add some thickness to this text field. So go to the modifiers tab, and add a solidify modifier. In the thickness field, let us enter 0.15. That added some nice thickness to this text. Before we proceed to the next step, we need to first convert it into a mesh object. So go to the object menu, then convert to, and select mesh. Since this mesh object is created from a text object, its internal geometry may not be very suitable for some operations like bending or twisting. If we bend it, it can create artifacts. So, we need to first fix its geometry. Let us just add a modifier, called Remesh Modifier. Switch over to the Sharp tab. Do not worry if your text gets deformed like this, we will fix it soon. First, deselect this checkbox for Remove Disconnected option. Then, if you increase this octree level, at around 7 or 8, you should get back your original text, with an improved geometry. Now apply this modifier. Next step. If we turn on the wireframe mode, we can see that there are lots of unnecessary vertices for this mesh, creating a very complex geometry. This can also create many issues down the line. So, we need to simplify this. To clean it up, add one modifier, called Decimate Modifier. Switch over to the Planar tab. You can see that the face count is now reduced, and the geometry also looks pretty simple for this object. So, let us apply this modifier, and then go back to the Solid View mode. Okay. As the Decimate modifier simplified the geometry, it has also created some flat surfaces clearly visible on this object. In order to rectify that, go to the Object menu, and select Shade Smooth. The text is now smooth, but somewhat deformed. To fix this, go to this tab. And, expand the Normal section, and enable the Auto Smooth option. Similarly, for the cylinder, select the Shade Smooth option, and also enable Auto Smooth. We are now ready to bend this text. We have discussed various methods of bending a text in details, in the first part of this series. The link is in the video description. Let us position the text in a way, so that it overlaps with the cylinder, slightly. We can fine-tune this also from here. Let us make this exposition as, 1.1. Now, in order to bend the text, we need to first add an empty. And we will use the empty to bend our text just like this cylinder. But, there is a problem. When we work with a mesh object, created from a text field, it is common to get some artifacts. Same here, if we zoom in, we can see that the remesh or the decimate modifier has somehow created an error in this location, resulting into this artifact. In order to rectify this, just go to the edit mode. Then, drag a selection box to select these two vertices. Then go to mesh, go to merge and select its center. That will simply resolve the artifact. Perfect. Now, we will add the empty object for bending of this text. So, go to the Add menu, then under the Empty, we can use any one of these. Let us go with a cube. 
This empty should have the same transformations in the X dimension, as that of our text object. The X location is 1.1 for the text, and the X rotation is 90 degrees. So, select the empty and enter the same X location value here, 1.1, and the same 90 degrees in the X rotation. Now, select the text field. Then go to the Modifiers tab, and add a simple Deform modifier. Switch over to the Bend tab. In the Origin field, select the empty object we have added, and select the Y axis, as our bend axis. If you now change this bend angle, the text field will bend accordingly. Let us look from the top. We have to bend the text approximately, matching the curvature of the cylinder. We need not be perfect, just an approximate value is sufficient. We will go with this, as it looks almost perfect. And, let us apply this modifier. Now, there is a quick way to join the text and the cylinder, although not a very good method. I will show you. First select the cylinder, then press the shift key and select the text object. Then in the object menu, select join. This can produce something that looks like embossed text. It is a quick way, but this does not look perfect. And if you apply a bevel to this object, it will only work on the outer edges, not on the inner sides. Let us rather make it a perfect one. So, first undo this step. Now, select only the cylinder object. And in the modifiers tab, add a boolean modifier. First, switch over to the union tab. And then in the object field, select our text object. That's all we need to do at this step. To see the emboss effect clearly, please hide the text object. We can also hide the empty. The text is now embossed, although we can make it even better. It looks good, but if we add a bevel to it, the emboss effect will look more prominent. Let us do that, minimize this modifier, and add a bevel modifier. Ensure that the width type is set to offset type. And in the offset amount field, enter a very low number, like 0.005. Change the number of segments to 4 or 5. The bevel effect is done, but it is suppressed. Just come down and expand this geometry section. Remove this clamp option. Now you should be able to see a nice bevel effect on all the edges. And, in order to take care of these little bumps on the surface, go down to the shading section and expand it. Then select the Harden Normals option. Everything is now perfect, and the emboss effect stands out clearly. You can change its look and feel, by controlling the bevel amount. We need little bit of cleaning here. You can see some artifacts here, that we need to remove. So, go up in the modifier list, and here is the boolean modifier. We need to first apply this modifier. Do not apply the bevel modifier yet. Now go to the edit mode. We need to tweak its geometry little bit. So, pick up the knife tool. The artifacts occur when Blender gets confused about the topology, and we can break it by making suitable cuts through the problematic area. Left click on your mouse, and drag the mouse, to expand the cuts to cover this entire section. Do not overuse this, make just enough cuts, and then hit enter. And the artifact will go. It may need several attempts to do it perfectly. As such there is no fixed rule because the geometry for different objects can be very different, and you need to be little innovative here. Repeat this process carefully, for any other area, where you can spot a similar problem. Once everything is clean, let us go back to the object mode. So the embossed text is now error-free, and it looks very beautiful. The text is not just joined or attached to the cylinder, it has now become an integral part of it. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.